Day 1 in Bali, and we started our journey, hitting the road towards Andara State. Because of the crowd and the long queue, we decided to move to our next destination, the Ulan Dan Biratan Temple. A few kilometers away from the temple, we stopped by to the abandoned hotel called Hotel Pundok in the Pedugon. We wrap up the day one in Bali, visiting the no known waterfall located in the center of Ubud and Bidubu. Hey guys, we just arrived in our Airbnb. So, this is my room. And from my room, I have this balcony up here. And from balcony, obviously you can see the pool area, right there, the trees, and the kitchen, so this is the kitchen, dining area, the cooking area, the pool right there, this is my favorite part of the Airbnb, the open washroom. The candles. Shower room. Toilet up here. We started our day two, waking up at 6 in the morning to explore the rice terraces of Tegalala. A trip to Bali won't be complete without trying the breakfast by the pool. This is a new trend in the island and we were glad that our villa offers a floating breakfast. Good morning! We are in Puma de Alas Bali. <laughs> We left Ubud in the afternoon and traveled for one hour to reach the Sagnor area. After we arrived, we decided to go straight to the abandoned theme park called Taman Festival. On our third day, we booked a tour to Nusa Penida via Kluk.com and toured the Kalinking Beach, Angels Bilabong, Broken Beach, and 
Last day in Bali was a bittersweet. We visited the Oluwoto Temple and was amazed by overlooking coastline of the island. Then, in the afternoon, we trekked for an hour to reach the secret paradise called We toured the Semenyak area and grab our late lunch at Tropicola. Overall, my trip to Bali was amazing. I can't wait to go back and explore more of the island and try different activities.